Hi practice buddies, listen, you guys are doing great. In the weeks that we've been inside our spaceships, you've used the principles of perpetual motion to keep moving forward, to keep pressing forward, to keep focusing, to keep determined. You've taken those principles and you've run with them. You've mastered perpetual motion. Some of you have sent me amazing videos. And how you went from beginner level on perpetual motion all the way to master level. Then you did a tune, you made it look easy. Then you did Minuet 1, Minuet 2, and today we're gonna to do Minuet 3. Now, I haven't forgotten that the end of the Minuet 2 video, I promised that we would talk about the story of Minuet 2. Well, that is closely linked with the story of Minuet 3. In fact, it's the continuation of the same story. It's when our Imperial Cadet Training Academy in Brixton, in London, was attacked by a gang of rebel troops who had stolen a Star Destroyer and disguised themselves as Imperial Stormtroopers to get close to us and they attacked our academy. The only way that we could successfully defend against this heinous surprise attack was by working together with our fellow violin generals. We would not have been able to defend the Imperial Training Academy without the bravery of our fellow violin Jedis. Jedi Daryl. Jedi Kumara. Jedi Courtney Jedi Patrick and Jedi Ken all of whom worked together with the person to the left of them and the person to the right of them we managed to push them back and bring down their Star Destroyer let's start with a playthrough of Minuet 3 and then we'll go line by line and then do a playthrough again and don't forget to watch the video about spider bows so you remember exactly how to hold your bow all right are you ready to play through Minuet 3? One, two, go! Well done guys. Minuet 3 is a waltz. It's a dance. It's a group of Jedis working together to defend against the attack from the heinous rebel troops. The cadets of the academy working with the Jedi masters to make sure everyone was safe. One of them, shoot down that TIE fighter! And everyone managed to get through the attack and win. So let's try the first line of Minuet 3. One. Two, three. Okay, let's go straight on to the second line. Low two on A. One, two, go. Great. And the third line now. Same as the first. One, two, go. Okay, let's do fourth line now. One, two, go. Okay, let's do the fifth line. The trick is with the fifth line to make the four on E sound as beautiful as possible. So let's get that four placed on the E nicely first and our bow near the string. One, two, go. The sixth line is like a D major scale, super easy. First two notes are slurred, starts on A. One, two, go. Great, let's do the 
let's just go to the seventh line. Three on A, nice and soft. One, two, three. Great, and now let's go to the last line, which is a G major scale up, but it's starting on D. First two notes slurred again, and that brings us to the end. One, two, go. So the story of Minuet 3 is a continuation of the story of Minuet 2. All of us violin Jedis working together with our Imperial cadets to repel the attack by the rebel troops. So the principles of Minuet 3 use the principles of all the pieces that we've learned up to this point. Etude, perpetual motion, Minuet 1, it uses tone, quality of tone, dynamics, accuracy, movement, rhythm, coordination. All of these things come together in Minuet 3 and it brings it all together in this ultimate piece which is an example of what you've been working on from the beginning, from Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, when you first started your Violin Jedi part. All these elements working together like the Violin Jedis that defended the Academy with the cadets against the rebel forces. Okay, so let's play it through once more and let's see if we can get all of these separate elements that we've learned together to make an ultimate performance of Minuet 3. We've got rhythm, dynamics, notes, intonation, accuracy, movement, musicality, ingenuity, creativity. All of these things have to come together in one piece of music written by one of the greatest composers who ever lived, Johann Sebastian Bach. Let's do it, shall we? One, two, go. Thanks for watching guys and thanks for practicing along with the Violin Jedi. I hope that you found this useful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. I've had a lot of requests for a vibrato tutorial video, so I'll be doing that soon. Don't forget to check out the shifting video, which is a story about how I got my personal Star Destroyer. Remember, Minuet 3 can't be as impactful as it should be without all of these disparate elements coming together. Just like I could never have defended the Cadet Academy by myself, I need the bravery of heroes such as Jedi Daryl a great hero, such as Jedi Kumara, Jedi Cordy, Jedi Ken, Jedi Patrick, work together, just like all the elements in this piece, Minuet 3, have to work together to do it the justice that it deserves. And soon, we will graduate from Suzuki Book 1, and you will be on the next stage, on your path to becoming the ultimate... Wait, before you go, I've got to tell you about this. One of our fellow Padawan violin student learners has sent in a video of herself playing Perpetual Motion. She's watched the video, she's memorized it, she's practiced along with it, she's kept focused and determined, and she's achieved blue lightsaber status. Kayana, you are a star. Thanks for sending in your video, and thanks for allowing us all to enjoy your playing. Well done. Thank mm -hmm. you.